So people keep asking me for Chainblade builds, and personally, I haven't been having fun playing them in this patch. They're not bad. They're not like a bad weapon or anything. Nothing like that. It's just I haven't been enjoying their playstyle, and there's also some things that like are annoying to me, so I've just been avoiding them. But people are asking for builds, and I figured I might as well just give you guys some builds for it, because why not? It's pretty easy to do. So I'll be giving you all two Boris builds using the Momentum, Momentum Blades special or modifier, and then three Hellion builds. An Iceborn build for each, and then some Flaws builds. So, for the Boreas builds, I'm going to go over how they're set up real quickly. And in these builds, it's going to be the same setup for each of the Boreas weapons. So, Reaper's Dance is in actually every single build because it's the best special by far. You have Insatiable Dance as your other option. It's like a Reaper's Dance that heals, which you don't need that much healing. And then Rift Strike is just not even a special, in all honesty. And... For the modifier, using Momentum Blades, like I said, this is a Trial Store modifier. Very freaking good for Boris Chain Blades. After using your special, or using your, your special... Wait. Man, can I not? Bro, I'm being denied the ability to make content. Albeit, it's scuffed content, but by golly, it's my right. Alright, whatever. Uh, please load. I'm on the clock, bro. My wages. I don't get paid overtime, I promise. The danger meter during a hunt goes up the longer the hunt goes on, the longer allies are downed, and when at 100% prohibits the ability to revive. All right, we're back. Okay, so back to what we're talking. You mother effer. Why does that happen? I swear I'm calling your parents, dude. Send me another invite, I dare you. That's right. You're scared. Anyway. Mountain Blades. After using a special, your next special you use within four seconds is free. This is... Ma this is massive for the Boris Chain Blades because after using a special, or using your special, generate three Frost Sprites that grant your next attack plus 60 damage and minor, and minor Frost damage. Max four Sprites. It's not going to be just 60 damage, okay? You might look at that and be like, 60 damage? That is blasphemy. No. What it's going to do is it'll give you, it'll scale that damage with your other perks and damage and whatnot. I don't know the exact math. I'm not trying to, I'm not that guy. It's not me. Not the math guy. I'm just like, the, okay, it does this kind of stuff, it's crazy. I'm that guy, I'm the, I'm the crazy guy. That's who I am. So, it's very good. It works amazing with Momentum Blades. So, the playstyle for this weapon is basically, use your special as much as often. When you're out of your pips, then spam the Swinging Blades ability to get your pips back, and then repeat the process. When you have 10 stacks Reaper's Dance, you will unleash your Reaper's Dance with a, uh, a special backflip off into a heavy attack, which is like the nuke attack. And then repeat the process. That's the playstyle. It's a change of pace for chain blades, and it's kind of fun. So I'll using I'll be using this special and this modifier in both of these Boris builds. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the armor. I'm using the Shroud headpiece, Koshai chest, Mount gloves, Charg feet, and then I'm using the Drask lantern. And for potions, this will be the same for every single build. But normally, it'd be a bit different for the uh, Hellion builds. Which I'll explain that a bit later. But for Boris builds, I always use Assault Tonics, Frenzy Tonics, and Blitz Tonics. Sometimes I'll swap out Assault Tonics for Pylons. It depends. That's for like very specific scenarios. So that is my advice for the potions. And then for Lantern, I pick Drask. I think Drask is the play because Attack Speed does not benefit this build. And you'll see that with my cell selection. So you could go Ember Main. What? Hello? There it is. But I don't really suggest doing this because it's not that... It's not that helpful. I forgot like why, but the main the main thing I was told is attack speed doesn't really benefit the build like you would imagine it does. So there's just no point in using it. In Boreas builds, Boreas chamber builds specifically with moment, with momentum blades. I gotta be so specific right there. But the perk summary is plus six catalyst, predator, rage, rage hunter, plus your berserker, conditioning, discipline, and tough. I can't escape conditioning. And I, I could choose whatever uh, defense cell I want to, since it's like a slot on the weapon, but I like tough, because I am tough. Country grown, corn fed, tough, you know what I'm saying? I was actually born in New Mexico, but that's besides the point. So these are my cell picks. Very good damage, very high damage. And a little tip I'll give though, with using Berserker on Chain Blades, if you're playing this build, you want to try and sp spam your stacks and then build some Berserker stacks by doing the Swinging Blades combo during a fight before you, you unleash your nuke and stuff, to build up your stacks. So, if that makes sense, that's great. If not, I apologize. 
Now, the next build uses the Iceborne cell, which is amazing. We love it. We like Iceborne, chat. We love... That camera coming on freaked me out. We love Iceborne, okay? Say it with me. We love Iceborne. Chant it. I drink the Kool-Aid. So, in this build, the main thing that changed is we got Iceborne and we gave up Predator, I think is the main thing. And some other things, too. Yeah, mostly. Anyway, nothing changed on the weapon. It's still the same, same special, same modifier. The armor I'm using is the Togaro's Apex Helmet. I want to say that because the, the helmet sounds pretty cool. This gives me zeal. I wasn't sure of a different way to make this build to not take zeal, but zeal isn't a bad choice here because this will increase the efficacy. Is that even a word? I keep saying that. The effectiveness of your Lantern Tap ability. I'm using the Drass Lantern. My Lantern Tap gives me 30% more damage, so 35% on top of that. 35% on top of or 35 percent of that 30 percent is what i'll be getting i do the math but i really don't feel like it's be like like 11 percent ish so my draft center would do my draft center would do like 41 percent ish extra damage instead of just 30 percent so it's not a bad option here make sure if you're using this cell and you're using draft lantern you want to time your your uh, instant cast with your reaper's dance nuke attack the freaking chain over the head slam jam that is what you want to do anywho chest pieces shroud chest piece again using the torque gloves and the boreous feet potions did not change and in this build i got plus six catalyst iceborne or power rage plus your berserker conditioning discipline and zeal now if you want to in all these builds in every single build you can change out catalyst which is a cell that is very strong right now but it's only strong if you pop potions if you're a potion popper brother so that can get expensive that can be excessive i don't suggest doing that all the time using catalyst all the time rather it's good to use in trials especially if you're going for a fast time it's fun to use to go for i guess crazy stuff like how fast can i kill this behemoth how quickly can i do escalation that's fun but it gets, it gets expensive so weigh out your options if you want to though you can change this for any other utility cell the second best utility cell after catalyst is conduit so if you want to change that Click on your lantern in every single build, boom, conduit. Click on something else that you can swap out, like uh, the other catalyst cell, conduit, and then you have conduit. Every single build's like this. I think one build, you have uh, the cell and the weapon itself, but it's very, it's really simple. Now, next builds are three Hellion builds, and the first two, I think, are flawless. So the first one is pretty similar to the build we saw with Boreas, I believe. I guess, well, maybe not, but... This is using the Torgaro Chain Blades, aka Scorching Agonies. These have a legend they're a legendary weapon, they have a bond. They're pretty cool. Now, it's the same special, Reaper's Dance. Every single build is gonna have that, but the modifier is serrated blades. Blade attacks have a chance to cause your next swinging blades to be a critical strike. Blade attacks are pretty much any light attack. It can also proc from using your Reaper's Dance light attack and things of that nature. So these will give you a chance to get that, that juicy juicy crit chance on your next Swinging Blades combo, and that is huge. So when playing the Hellion Chain Blades and this modifier, which are really strong, you just want to spam Swinging Blades all the time. That's pretty much what you want to do all the time. If you have to dodge, use your special and then go back to spamming Swinging Blades. That's how you play this weapon, or this assortment for this weapon. The bond I'm using is Hellion. That is the best bond, no questions asked. I will fight you right now if you disagree. This gives you overpower, it's what Hellion weapons have, and the 11th hit in a row deals 225 damage and major blaze damage. Your other options do not compare. Part damage is not real damage. Uh, the freaking, the, the Charg Chain Blades, or the Charg Bond could be so cool, I think, but it's just not useful. And it also has Aether Hunter, which I could look past, but I'm telling you, man, the special or the, uh, the unique effect on this weapon on this bond is not good and it makes me sad so yeah that's the loadout for that uh the the Torgado chain blades now for the armor got shroud headpiece chest piece tor gloves boreas feet nothing else changed but like the lantern's still the same i'm still using drafts you could use in remain it's preference at this point if you want to now for the potions i would suggest using aether drive tonics although right now they do not work I mentioned this in my repeaters video, which I don't know if it'll get released before or after this video. 
but it doesn't work. And that's a bummer because I want to make builds with Catalyst and uh, like Edge of Tonics making mage builds. That's what, that was my plan, but it doesn't work. So I have to wait. It sucks. But right now it doesn't work. It should be, it should be fixed in a, re in a upcoming patch, hopefully. But in the meantime, I would suggest using Stagger Tonics instead or No Tonics, up to you, of course. But uh, in this build, plus six Catalyst, Iceborne, Overpower, Rage, Rage Hunter, plus three Discipline, and plus three Wild Frenzy. I think I changed a build that I shouldn't have changed. Because oh, I, I got confused. Whatever. So maybe it's just, maybe it's just four builds. I could have sworn, dude. I messed up. Whatever. Maybe I can fix it quickly. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the build for this one. This is noise. It's pretty good. It's pretty solid overall. I would use this in Shock Escalation with, for Chain Blades for sure. And I would use the Boris Chain Blade builds in Blaze Escalation. And I, would, I, would use this, I would use this in Shock and Umbral, actually, for the Hellion and Boris in uh, uh, Blaze. Anyway, next build is Flawless. We have, again, the same thing for Scorching, Agonies, Chain Braids, same special, same modifier. Helmet is Shroud, Chest is Koshai, Gloves are Malkarian, Feet are Chiroge, and everything else is the same. We got Plus 6 Catalyst, Overpower, Predator, Rage, and Wild Frenzy. Our attack speed is Cracked, Plus 3 Berserker, and Plus 3 Discipline. The attack speed with Catalyst and having Wild Frenzy might be a little much, so this is a build where... Catalyst, you could run it, but running just Conduit instead of Catalyst would be just fine. Of course, having Catalyst is better because it's, it's just more value, but you could run Conduit and have a pretty comfortable build for damage that's also flawless in most of your general hunt needs. And the last build is basically just another rendition of the first one. It was supposed to be another flawless build, but I messed up. But hey, if you want to use this, you could. It's roughly the same thing, just in a different order because that's how builds work in this game. They're very easy to make. <laughs> they just like, you could you could use so many parts for so many things, it just get the same result. It's funny. But yeah, that is the video guys. Hopefully it helps you in some way. Hopefully you liked it. If you want to, I'll be, or if you make it this far, I'll be leaving timestamps in the description for this stuff. I'll probably post that at the beginning of this, the video as well, just to make it easier. But if you guys like the video, make sure to like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel for more content. Use my Epic Games support card code in the Epic Games store to support my channel if you want to, of course. And check out my stream at twitch.tv for slash Odo. I stream there pretty often. If you want my in-game flair, subscribe there if you want it. And other than that, y'all, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.